and I have with me today Howard Taylor. Howard, welcome to Utah Book Scene. We're so happy to have you. Yeah, it's good to be here, Susan. I'm having a great time. And you've been doing this for how many years? Thirteen. You must kind of have days where you stockpile. I'll usually write a week of strips in one or two sittings on the same day, uh -huh. um, usually a Monday or a Tuesday. And then for most of the rest of the week, I'm penciling those strips, inking those strips, uh, shipping those off to my colorist. So, so you write and illustrate, but someone else does the coloring. I write and illustrate. Somebody else has done the coloring for the last several books. Um, I did all my own coloring for the first eight years. Um, and what I found is that um, while I became a fairly competent colorist, there were people who do nothing but color comics, mm -hmm. and they're so much better at it than I am. And it takes them less time and costs them less money. And um, you remember when I said schlock mercenary? Yes. There's, I am a mercenary, and I talked to him and said, so how much is it going to cost me? And he told me, ah, for that amount of money, I get 40 hours a week back. Yeah. In 40 hours a week, I bet I can earn that much money doing other things and so the business plan so that sounds like it makes good business sense to me and it actually farm allowed out me the things that you don't do as well farm out the things that i don't do as well and that's a good rule for anybody who wants to who wants to self-publish who's been dreaming of self-publishing uh yeah sure do the things that you do well but recognize that being your own publishing company mm -hmm. you're wearing a dozen different hats and you're not very good at any of them you, you really aren't. You might think you're a good editor because you know how to drive spell check and you took some English classes in college, but you're not a good editor because you don't do it professionally. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I've, I have a whole team that I work with. My wife and uh, several other people help me edit the comics. Uh, Travis handles the coloring. I've got software guys who handle the web, the web hosting. This is, a, this is a business, and I've finally reached the point where I can just focus, mostly, on being funny and writing and you know and doing the line art and then I've got a little bit more free time to work on things like Space Eldritch where I get to experiment and draw or not draw I didn't draw that this is somebody else's artwork um, experiment with uh, uh, just prose. We need to end, even though I think I could talk to you all day. I could Thank just you, talk Lord. and talk and just talk. Just tell me where we could get. Um... Okay, uh, Schlock Mercenary. Easiest way to find Schlock Mercenary is to just Google Schlock Mercenary, schlockmercenary.com. Uh, books uh, you can read for free online uh, is all available there. Uh, Space Eldritch you can find at, uh, I think, any place that sells books. It's available. It originated as an Amazon ebook. Um, but it's now, we've printed them with Create Space, and so any retailer can pick them up. And this is Susan Thalen for Utah Book Scene, with Howard Taylor as our guest today. Thank you for joining us.